Good afternoon. This is Reginald Tucker with Metal Finishing Magazine. We're here at Surfing 2008 in downtown Indianapolis. We're here with Eric Olander, president of Electrochemical Products Inc. in Berlin, Wisconsin. Good to see you, Eric. Hey, Reg. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Seems like only yesterday we were sitting in uh, Cleveland in Surfing 2007. And uh, already we're here at the Surfing 2008. Yes. Yes, we are. New show, new venue, new year. Must be new products. Yes, it does. It means new products. Indianapolis has been a great surfing for us again. Uh, we got a lot of traffic and a lot of interest in some new, new products. Okay, let's talk about some of those new products. Well, specifically, one of the new ones is our eBright Ultra Yellow 600. It's a, it's a fairly unique trivalent chromate. We talked about our super yellow and our trivalent yellow yes, uh, last year. But the Ultra Yellow 600 offers a lot of different advantages than what the super yellow and the ultra yellow did. What are some of those advantages? Well, first of all, is salt spray hours. Um, you can now get six to seven hundred hours salt spray in a five percent white corrosion. Significant. Last year with the ultra yellow and super yellow, we were talking about 150 to 200 hours. So basically, you're talking about three to four times longer corrosion protection. That's good news for finishes. Tell me, uh, Eric, what do we uh, owe these improvements? Well, it, it's a new formulation based off of the ultra yellow and super yellow. It's new chemistry and we don't know, understand all the effects, but it's a new synergistic effect of some new chemistries that we're working with right now. So we're really excited about it. What's been some of your early feedback based on people who have stopped by the booth? Well, they're very excited about it. In fact, we've had one beta site where we got excellent salt spray hours on it and we're getting more beta sites as we've gotten out. People are really excited about this new, new process that's out there today. Any particular applications uh, where the, some of these new performance attributes might be helpful? Well, one might be in, um, you know, like I said, the higher corrosion protection. One might be in more the for zinc alloy plating as a replacement for zinc alloy. What I mean by that is we're getting eight to 900 hours to red rust. Typically, a zinc chloride will get in from 150 to 250 hours to red rust. Most zinc alloys, and I mean zinc iron, zinc cobalt, and, and tin zinc, will typically get about uh, anywhere from 300 to 800 hours. So what this means for the metal finisher is they can do zinc alloy plating without the zinc alloy by using E-Bright Ultra 600. That, that would be good news for a lot of finishers. Tell me, last year you did a paper on a new process for uh, plating magnesium. Can you give me an update on that process? Well, right now we are working with a couple of new uh, uh, shops on, on working with this and uh, I think we made some inroads on working on for the adhesion and some things like that and we've got a new etch that we're working on so we're really excited about that but we've actually got a couple people now, uh, potential customers are starting to work with us. We're working with an OEM and a plater to get the parts to work out. So sounds, we're really excited about it. That's great. Sounds very promising. A lot of things going on at EPI. I do have one question though. What's with the fish? Well, the fish isn't alive. I think it's a trout. What do you think? <laughs> what type of fish do you think it is? <laughs> it looks like a trout. Yeah. Um, and about six months ago, we got a customer that wanted to replace his cyanide copper with our T-Bright Ultra CU non-cyanide copper plating process. And so we did this part for him. This is zinc die cast, Zamac 3, plated with our E-Bright Ultra CU, and we get excellent adhesion. This is actually a pull, no, pull, pull handle for our kitchen cabinet hardware. And then he, once it antiqued afterwards, and we used our BOX 311 antiquing process on it. Just black like this, but then when you highlight it, it brings out all the the beautiful perfections of the uh, trout fish swimming along. <laughs> That's neat. All right, Eric, for those who didn't have an opportunity to stop by uh, Surf in 2008, be here in uh, Indianapolis to see your booth, how can people find out more information about your uh, new products? You can go to www.epi.com. That's www.epi.com. Original Tuck with Metal Finishing Magazine. This is Eric Olander, President of EPI, and we look forward to seeing you at Serpent next year in Louisville, Kentucky.